everyone back to the channel today I'm going to do a version of my grandmother's sherry cake all right let's start I have one yellow cake three quarters cups of cream sherry one box of lemon pudding four eggs three quarters cup of oil we have one teaspoon of allspice and one teaspoon of lemon extract do now is just basically mix everything together we'll put our pudding in our eggs in our oil in mm, allspice this was one of my favorites as a kid every year my grandmother would ask me what I wanted for my birthday this was it this is her way of saying happy birthday All right, so we're going to preheat the oven. We're gonna hit bake, back twice for manual convection bake, select. I'm gonna hit 350 for the temperature, select. We open up the door, close it, and start. Scraping out all the stuff on the bottom now, making sure we get everything. Now we put it in the microwave convection oven for 30 to 35 minutes, and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, we're gonna check our cake now, and it's been 44 minutes since we put it in the oven. We had like one more minute to go, but I think it's done. Oh, that looks absolutely incredible. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes before we do anything to this. All right, we'll see you then. All right, we're gonna check our cake just to make sure it's done. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a clean knife and it comes out clean, it's done. I think I'm just gonna flip it over. <gasps> there you go, it came right out. All right, so now we let it cool and then we will frost it. All right, so we're gonna make a buttercream frosting from scratch. So what we need is a stick of butter. Two tablespoons are added to it. Our vanilla and what we're gonna do is now we're going to mix this we're going to add our powdered sugar oh my goodness we're gonna add half of our milk here and you only want to do half at a time you but that was a complete disaster all right with the fork are you kidding me i put you that twist okay all right so now that we've made a mess we're actually going to use a fork because i don't think these little mixers have a slower speed than you see the butter should have been just a smidge softer. We keep 
adding milk to get to the consistency you want. If you want a really thick frosting, then you don't put so much milk in. All right, so our frosting is pretty well done at this point. And what I'm gonna do is place my cake on a plate and then we're going to just frost the top of this. So we made a buttercream frosting to go on our sherry cake. And there you have it, a sherry cake with buttercream frosting. Enjoy.